So we're back taking a look at petroleum, a barrel of crude oil, and the products that are created from one barrel of crude oil, a 42-gallon barrel. And so you finished up that first video creating this worksheet. And so now what we're going to do is come in and make a pie chart. And so the pie chart will show us how each of these different components or parts make up the whole amount. So step one, and we'll go ahead and do this a couple different ways. We've created uh, the percentages and the, uh, we've got the gallons here. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the gallons, and then I'll show you how you can convert that to a percentage within the pie. And then you could also just make a pie chart right out of the percentages directly. But we'll go ahead and do it this way so we can see all the elements of what it takes to put a pie chart together. So select the values. And then just like we did for line charts, click Insert. And then come over to the chart area. And this time select the pie chart. And we'll go ahead and make the selection to be this first one right here. Just a good old basic pie chart. And then go ahead and make this pretty large. Let's expand the size of this. Let's see. There we go. That'll work. Next step. Let's go ahead and right click. Select data. Because what we want to do is give some titles to this 1 through 8, which corresponds to our different petroleum products. So on the horizontal axis, click Edit. Axis Labels. Select the range, and there are headings there, or our products that are created from petroleum, and there they are. Click OK. Come over to the y-axis, the vertical. Click on the series, click Edit. Now we already have our data selected, our series values. But we could give it a name, and what we could do is just, we could type in a particular name if we want to change it, or we can just click on something that we've already keyed in up, up here in uh, A1. And then click OK, and then that'll go ahead and insert that as a title of our chart, which corresponds with the series of values that we created. And there's our different products showing up. Click OK. And then we can clearly see that blue is gasoline taking up the biggest portion of the pie or the biggest amount of a barrel of oil. Most of the products within a barrel of oil go to the production of gasoline. So let's next go and give a little bit more meaning to this because it's not clear, even though this piece of pie is large, we don't really know if this is a percentage of a barrel of oil at this time or the number of gallons, even though our Worksheet is showing that, but we're not indicating that on our pie chart. So the first thing we can do, let's go in and make it a little bit more specific on what we have on our title here. So go ahead and change your title to this. Gallons of products made from a 42-gallon barrel of crude oil. And that way, when we put our values in here, it'll make sense and we will know what it is that we are indicating. So go ahead and pause the video. Just adjust that title there to be gallons of products made from a 42-gallon barrel of crude oil. And then we'll move on and add some data labels. All right, so next up, what we want to do is right-click and add data labels. And there they are. So now we know that's 19.4 gallons. And once we've added data labels, we can go ahead and format the data label. So right-click again. And this time, Format. And then so some format options come up for our labels. And so what we can do is that we can include a percentage, category name. We can do both. Let's go ahead and try it. It might look a little bit busy. And I might stretch my chart out here a little bit, make it a little larger. Let's see what we have here now. So gasoline, 19.4 gallons. 
which is 44% of a barrel of oil. So nearly half of the barrel of oil goes to the production of gasoline. Here, it looks like a quarter of it, about almost 25% goes to diesel. So that adds some more meaning to our particular chart. And so that's a basic pie chart. It's got enough information to tell the story of what it is that we're studying, in this case, the barrel of crude oil. And so from this point, what you could do is you could save this as its own chart once again by right clicking and select move and then select new sheet and then I'm just going to call this pie chart one because I'm going to have you go through and create about four more in different variations there's a lot of different things you can do you can change the colors you could add pictures to the pieces of pie uh, you can put in uh, different uh, formatting for your text Lots of different things that I'm going to have you experiment with, but one of the first things that you're going to do is just to come in here and make a duplicate of this pie chart. So we're going to keep our basic one that we have. Right click, move or copy, and make sure that pie chart one is selected. Select create a copy, and click OK. And there's the copy of it. Double click and let's call this one pie chart two. And then also note that you can move these around. There's pie chart one. I could just take and move that in front of it. And now I can come over to pie chart two and do anything I want without ruining the first one. So I can experiment. And so one of the first things to do is to click on your chart, click on design. And take a look at the quick layout. And take a look at some of these different options. There's one that eliminates the legend and puts everything right on the pie chart. That looks pretty nice. There's another one that puts the legend on top along with just the percentage labels. There's the legend on the bottom with no labels at all. There's one with the legend on the side. There's one with just the name of the products. And so you can take a look at these different ones and choose one of these that you would like to work with. And I'm going to pick I think I will take that one right here. And then I'm going to see if I can do something about these data labels here. Now, if you want to pick another one, that's fine. But I'm going to choose that one and see if I can do a little bit more with these data labels. Ah, right here, label position. So right now it's well on the outside of the circle. I'm going to put it in the center like that. And I think maybe I might come back and add, I'm going to see how the category name will look here. Right there with it in the center. That's kind of a problem with these small slices of pie. So that's a problem. Let's see what uh, the best fit option does. Well, that's a little bit better. Let's see if I can format my numbers. Here I can decide how many decimal places to have, and I always like to have at least one. For this one, I think I'll go ahead and keep it two, though. A little more accuracy. So experiment a little bit with the locations. There's an outside view. That one's not too bad. I might leave that there for a minute. You could also come over to text options and change the color, for example, if you wanted to. There's an orange. I think I'll stick with black. 
And so that's a way that you can go through and make the changes utilizing the quick layout. Now I'm going to take this one and make a copy of that and experiment even a little bit more. And I'll call that one pie chart three. And so the next thing that we can work with is within the design. And we can see what that might do for us. And so there's a lot of presets here that you can experiment with. That looks a little busy. That looks like about the one we already had. That one's interesting. Nice background. Wouldn't want to print this. A lot of that would consume a lot of black toner. That's actually not too bad. I would say either that one or that one. That one. I kind of like that one. This one or this one. I'm not sure. Got the legend on the right side. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and do both of them. I'll take that one. It's pie chart three. And then I'll just go ahead and make another copy. And you can make a copy of any of these that you want. you got pie chart one, two, or three. Let's see what happens if I just create a copy of that. Call it pie chart four. And then click on the chart, back to design, and then I'll select that one. And then go through and see if you can change the color. So select the particular slice that you're interested in changing. I'll choose the gasoline. Right click. And actually, well, we could do it right there. Let's see what we can do here. And we can just pick a different color right there. You can also come over here and change your color here. Solid fill, and there's our color selector there. And you can also change the transparency of it. Right there, or you can grab that slider. So you can do a lot with the color. So experiment with that, working on each of your little individual pieces. And then the last thing you can do is take a look at inserting a picture. So I'm going to go ahead and put a picture of something that represents gasoline here for this big piece of pie. So I'm going to click on that slice. And then over here on our options, I am going to select picture or texture fill. And then I can insert a picture from file. And so I went out and grabbed a picture on the internet of something that, uh, well, that we're all familiar with. Going to the gasoline pump. And there it is right there. Nice image of gasoline just to add some visual interest. And so you can go out and do that also for diesel fuel, jet fuel. Maybe you can go out and find yourself an airplane, maybe a propane tank. Maybe. Some of these are going to be a little bit tough, but the ones that we're familiar with, just so you can get some experience and practice doing that and uh, applying a picture to your pie chart and that's a lot of fun to do so good luck with that I'll come around and take a look at your charts and that will do it for pie charts for this particular section of products made from a 42 gallon barrel of crude oil